Hi, welcome to Make It Monday. My name is Stephanie and I'm a librarian at the Robbins Library. Today we're going to paint with colored ice cubes. This is an activity best done outside when with a smock on. Hands will temporarily get stained with the food coloring, but it should wash off in the bath. It did with me. You will need food coloring and water, ice trays or plastic egg cartons, a big tray or um, box cover in which to place your paper, and um, some white construction or a watercolor paper to paint on, and then just some utensil that you'll use to move the slippery, cold, wet ice cubes around. They're slippery, so they're hard to pick up with your fingers, but it's a really fun activity. Are you ready to take a look at the process? Let's go. Now it's time to fill each cell of your egg carton or ice tray with water. Don't fill it to the top because you'll need room for the food coloring. So squeeze in two or three drops of food coloring into each cell. Then you'll want to move it carefully to the freezer and let it freeze for two or three hours till it's solid. Once your ice tray is frozen solid, take the tray outside and dump those cubes on the paper. This is where the fun starts. I started by moving the colored ice cubes around with a utensil, but then I thought, oh, I don't mind getting my fingers a little colorful, so I had more fun when I moved them around with my hand. It's up to you and your family. You can decide to keep the colors distinct and separate, or you can mix the colors and see what new colors are made. This is a fun part of the process, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Once I finished my first two pieces of paper, I thought, why not try it again and try to actually draw a picture? So I did another one and I tried to draw a landscape with some flowers, some blue sky and green grass. And that was fun too. I discover that it's best to take the cu ice cubes off the paper once you're done um, or else it takes a long time to dry. So just remember to move them aside when you're done with your painting. It definitely takes a few hours more for these to dry. So here's how mine turned out when they were dry. Hope you have fun.